Stan, let them out. This isn't funny. Oh, oh, Linda's making a run for the gate. <laughs> Come on, Francine, you can't tell me that's not funny. You promise you'll be good? I'll be better than good. I'll be fun, starting now. I'll be fun in the kitchen. I'll be fun in the bedroom. I'll be fun in the dining room. And I'll be fun at Costco when we're shopping for bulk paper towels. Ah! Oh no, somebody pulled the alarm. You know what that means? Dusty, you're on fire, and that's a double dance for you. <laughs> yeah! Has your loved one's memory been irretrievably lost? Hi, I'm forgettable actor Bill Pullman. You might not remember me from such movies as While You Were Sleeping and Twister. Wait, was I in Twister? No, no, that was Bill Paxton. See, memory can be pretty tricky. So that's why if you tell your loved one what's happened to them, their brain will implode. Good luck. I'm Bill Pullman. Oh, oh, I was also in Independence Day. Jeff Daniels is right. There's one person I would like to thank without whom this would not have been possible. Carl Rove. Carl? Carl, where are you? There he is. Come on up. Yeah, I'm good right here. My work is done. Farewell, Stan. Excuse me, are you Francine's boss? Yes. Go, go, go! You're all under arrest. For what? Possession of cocaine donuts. Those are powdered sugar. Put it in a rap song, jailbird. This office is permanently closed. What are you saying? I'm saying you're fired. <clears throat> oh, for God's sake, somebody pay Mr. Trump. I was finally making friends, Stan. How could you ruin my party? Well, it was easy. I just yelled terrorists and everyone ran away. Why do you hate him so much? Look at his life, Francine. He's got a bigger paycheck, a nicer house, a better wife, better kids. Stan, that's incredibly hurtful. I know. That's why I really want to shove it in his face this time. Am I that awful? Dad, we're in Mexico. I'm in stirrups. And I've been drinking. Hey, Stan. Everything work out with Haley? No, I had to cut her off like a diseased hand. And like any diseased hand, sooner or later, she'll come flopping back. They always do. Yep, I got her right where I want her. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Let's welcome to the stage, Dusty. Yeah! <laughs> God, what is she doing? Pretending to ride a horse. Yeah, if you want to see a real horse, you got to go to the track. <laughs> Can I get some ketchup? <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Ask Dad. He stole my whole bum fights idea. He won't even give me a piece of the action. Okay, I want this to be a class act. I'll introduce you both, you'll shake hands, and then I'll throw raw meat on the floor, and whoever beats the crap out of the other one gets to eat. Dad, you were supposed to shut this down. You're degrading these poor men. That's ridiculous. I'm giving them jobs and self-esteem. More importantly, I'm giving them costumes and a backstory. This is the garbage collector. He's got his own catchphrase. I'm taking out the trash and sorting it. And this guy, this guy, he grew up in the bayou, living with alligators, wrestling with alligators. I call him the aviator fight nights already sold out i set up a ring fans can make bets i even put out some nice mixed nuts no those are for people oil of olay where's your machete honey take it easy if i die you must protect the clan I just made a killing in the shock market. <sighs> hey, what's wrong, honey? We're alive. I know, and that's good. But, well, when I thought we were gonna die, it made me realize how little I've done with my life, and now I guess I'm feeling unfulfilled. Unfulfilled? But I've given you everything you could ever want. You clean, you cook, and once a week we lie together as husband and wife in sexual congress. This is upstanding conservative to dirty liberal. Drop point ahead. See you tomorrow, fellas. Hey, Sanchez, try to get to work on time for a change. <laughs> hey, no fair. <laughs> hey, don't make me come up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better fly.
You like shaving your armpits, Haley? Huh? Because if the terrorists take over this country, that's the first thing to go. Sorry I'm late. I was getting a piping hot cup of coffee. It's far too hot to drink, but luckily my leathery man mouth can take it. Mmm, very nice. I wish Francine kept hers this clean. Aha! What have we here? Tic Tacs. Doctor! You know, Steve's dog would still be alive if you right-wing lunatics would agree to gun control. You know what I have to say to that? Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna fart. Chuck? Christy? Nice house. Smith, you live in a house. This is a manor. So you better mind yours! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! No! Ah, uh, nothing like the great outdoors. Who's ready to do some fishing? Yeah, yeah, let's go fish, yeah. This is Castmaster One. Bring in air support. Here's to Mom. She's finally cast off the shackles of domestic servitude and realized her potential as a smart, independent woman. Haley, how would you like a punch in the face? Dad, this is suicide. You're a weapons expert. Uh, when was the last time you fought hand-to-hand? -hand? I'll be fine, Haley. You never forget how to fight. It's like beating up a bicycle. That's it. If Steve needs power, I'll rig the school election and make him student body president. Wow, can you do that? Rigging elections is my bread and butter, Roger. You know how many votes George Bush actually got in the first election? Seven. <laughs> Your very manhood is at stake. Your very manhood is at stake. Your very... Okay, that's it. We're not gonna carpool anymore. My mother stole my boyfriend! Your boyfriend stole my wife. Let's get back at them by dating each other. Wait a minute. Daddy didn't think that through. Oh, she said she was out torching SUVs. I'd never be cool with stripping. Really? Yeah! I mean, I've dated three strippers and two of them turned up dead. And the cops always go to the boyfriend with the van. That's profiling, man, and that's wrong. Well, that's the price you pay for the sweet pleasure of van ownership. Let's go! Anyway, glad you could make it. Are you frisking me? Oh, uh, frisking you? No, 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 this is just how white people say hello. Hey, grab me a beer. Yeah, keep digging. Cold ones are at the bottom. Well, if you tell anybody, I'll kill you. <laughs> uh, I'm serious. I will kill you. I will reach into your chest, pull out your beating heart, and eat it. All of it. Every last bit. Well, sweet dreams, Angel. Hello, phone bill. <laughs> Your mother might be in denial, but the rest of us will be prepared. So that's why I have to join the dorky scout rangers? Hey, the rangers will teach you the skills you need to survive, whether the apocalypse comes in six months or seven months. So Stan, did Haley move back in? No, and Francine is just devastated. I mean, if she's this upset now, what's she gonna be like when Haley dies? <laughs> oh, good, you're up. I uh, have a special anniversary surprise for you. Your favorite song, sung by America's sweetheart, Whitney Houston. Come on, Daddy. I, I need my fix. Remember the deal, Whitney. First you sing, then you get your precious cocaine. How dare you? Do you think I would? No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Come on, Whitney. Go get it. Steve, I promise you, and this comes from years of experience, women are never right. Oh, I'll tell you what, Francine. Why don't you just take this broom here, I'll bend over and grab my ankles, you lube up the handle real good, and just sweep me out the door. Dr. Cohen? Uh, sure, why not? Hey guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to catch any more like this, hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Peace.